My name is Steven Nelson, and I'm an operations engineer at DN Simple. DN Simple is a DNS and domain services provider focused on making domain management easy, and we're proud to be a sponsor of this year's ChefConf. In this lightning talk, I will cover some basics about Test Kitchen and utilizing Docker containers with the Kitchen Dock and Driver. Then I'll show a quick example of how to get up and running. So to start, what is Test Kitchen? Test Kitchen is an integration tool used for the development and testing of infrastructure code and software. It supports Chef Cookbook dependency resolution via Bookshelf and policy files, and it is the preferred integration testing tool for Chef Infra Cookbooks. There are four main components that make up Test Kitchen. The first component is the driver. It is used to create a system either on a local machine or via a cloud provider. The second component is the transport. It is the mechanism responsible for connecting to the newly created system that we're going to test. The third component is the provisioner. The provisioner is a configuration management tool or script used to configure the system. And the last component is the verifier. It is responsible for running tests that ensure that the system matches the desired state. But what is Kitchen Dockin? Kitchen Dockin is a test kitchen driver that utilizes Docker containers. It acts as the driver, transport, and provisioner components of Test Kitchen, and it is specifically focused on testing Chef Infra cookbooks. Why use Kitchen Dockin? Kitchen Dockin is purpose built for speed to drastically improve feedback wait times. It uses Chef Infra client Docker containers to bypass repeated installations of the provisioner, and it supports a wide array of testing platforms using Dockin images containers. Some things to watch out for when using Kitchen Dockin. Testing with containers is not a perfect match to a full system. The Dockin images containers may need additional package configuration to match your specific test case. And networking and firewalls can be difficult to test. Okay, so let's take a look at how to set this up. I've already installed Chef Workstation and Docker and created a new Chef repo as well as a cookbook named Hello Dockin inside of the cookbooks directory of the new Chef repo. Let's take a look at the kitchen YAML file inside of the Hello Dockin cookbook. So I've updated the driver, transport, and provisioner directives and set the name to Dockin, and I've left the verifier as the default set to inspec. Under platforms, I've added the driver directive and set the image to use Dockin images container for Ubuntu 18.04, and I've set the PID1 command to bin systemd and used the privilege directive set to true to give the container privilege access, which is required to run systemd. The last directive is intermediate instructions, and it supports any valid Docker instruction, such as runner volumes. And this is where you can configure additional packages that may be required in your specific test case. Finally, I've left the default suite configuration referencing inspect tests inside of test integration default. Now let's take a look at the default recipe. So I've set up a simple recipe here that installs the Nginx package and then enables and starts the Nginx service. Next, inside of test integration default, default test. I've set up a simple test that verifies that the Nginx service is installed, enabled, and running. Now let's take a look at some kitchen output. If I run kitchen list, you'll see that we have the default Ubuntu 18.04 instance using Dockin as the driver, transport, and provisioner, and that the system has not yet been created. So let's go ahead and converge and test our recipe using the kitchen test command. First test kitchen will destroy any old instances that have been created and then move on to creating and converging a new system. Next, the chef client will start as the provisioner and we can see that the Nginx package is being installed and that the service is enabled and started. And once the chef client has finished provisioning the system, our tests will be loaded from the location defined in the kitchen YAML file and execute them. And we can see the output of our tests for the Nginx service and that the checks for installed, enabled, and running have all passed. And finally, Test Kitchen will destroy the instance of our system and we're ready to make further changes and test them. If you're new to Test Kitchen or have not used the Kitchen Dock and Driver, I hope this lightning talk has been helpful to get you started. And please check us out at dnsimple.com for all of your DNS and domain management needs.